Dear students, I Sharmishtha Pandey welcome you all to the YouTube channel of Genius Public Inter College. Last time I taught you chapter 1 of class 3rd English. Today I am going to teach you chapter 2 of your English literature of class 3rd. Your chapter 2 is The Foolish Fish. The Foolish Fish is a poem about a small little fish who didn't listen to his mother and at last fell into the trap of the fisherman. Foolish means beokuf. In Hindi, we call beokuf. Now, before starting the poem, first we will discuss some things that are what, what are rhyming words. Rhyming words are the words which sound similar. As you can see on the page that fish wish see me cried hide too true you all must be listening that these words sound similar when you say them in spite their spellings are different but they sound somewhat similar why we are discussing about rhyming words because in poems mostly rhyming words are used to make a poem more attractive now we will discuss some questions which commonly arises in our mind that is do you know what fish eat and how does a fisher catch fish so i will answer it one by one that a fish eat the grasses and the insect which are present in the body water body in which the fish lives and a fisherman catches the fish with the help of a hook or with the help of a net now we will start our poem one by one i will read each and every paragraph and try to explain it to you all so the first paragraph dear mother said a little fish is that a worm i see i am very hungry and i wish you'd get the worm for me the little fish saw a worm and when he saw the worm he went to his mother and said mother i am very hungry and i want to eat the worm sweet fish the mother cried and started from her nook the mother of the fish came from a corner and told her child that the worm you see is there to hide the sharpness of a hook the mother fish told his child that the worm is hiding the sharpness of a hook and it's a trap by the fisherman and if you go close to the uh, worm you will get killed as I have heard, the little trout was young and foolish too and presently he still went out to learn what might be true. But the fish, the little fish was young and didn't listen to his mother and he went to check out whether the mother was true or not. Trout means the fish which live in the freshwater body. So, after the uh, little fish went to her, his mother, went to the worm to see whether his mother was saying true or not what he saw around the worm he played and gave it a hard long look he was staring at the worm and around the worm he played and dear me to himself he said i am sure there is no hook as he was the child he thought that there is no hook and the mother was lying to him i think i'll give one little bite and that was what he did he thought to himself that I can give a little bite and I can eat somewhat of the worm and thus he died the little fish by not doing as he was told so the little fish did not do what his mother told him and he did the thing which he wanted to do and at last as a result he died so from the poem we learn that we should always listen to our parents our elderly people and because they are always true and they are always right for us this poem is written by Anne and Jane Taylor now we will discuss the exercise of the chapter so for ex in the exercise of the chapter there are few questions and new words or the word meanings so one by one I'll read out the questions and word meanings and you try to understand the first question is what kind of fish is mentioned in the poem so as i have told you earlier the freshwater fish or the trout is mentioned in the poem the fish mentioned in the poem is a trout what did the fish see the fish saw a worm 
what was the worm hiding the worm was hiding a sharp hook which was a trap by the fisherman did the little fish try to eat the worm yes the little fish do try to eat the worm now we will discuss the new words the first word is startled startled means a movement in the body because of feeling sudden surprise or fright nook means corner hook a curved piece of metal that is used to catch fish trout the name of a freshwater fish presently after a short time or soon after why did the little fish want the worm the little fish wanted the worm because he was hungry what did the little fish think of doing the little fish thought of biting the worm what happened to the little fish at the end of the poem the little fish died at the end of the poem now we will see the match the following in which the lines from the poem and are given and you have to match the correct lines which come one after the other so that worm you see is there to hide is there to hide the sharpness of a hook as i have heard the little trout was young and foolish too i am very hungry and i wish you'd get the worm for me around about the worm he played and gave it a hard long look and dear me to himself he said i hope there is no hook what do you think the little fish mother told him not to go near the worm was she right yes the fish mother was right and she was knowing the danger behind the worm so she was warning her child not to go near the hook absolutely she was right should we listen to our elders of course we should listen to our elders because our elders always guide us to the correct path now hope you all understood the poem practice and learn the poem and exercises and hope at home and thank you for watching i hope you all understood the poem very well next day next i will come with the next video in which i will explain the next chapter of literature i hope you all understood this chapter very well thank you for watching